1964 Bedford CA panel van. This is a Mark II long wheelbase with the 4107 Perkins diesel in there. Have a good look at this one. It's the 1.6 litre diesel Perkins engine. If you check out the website, James is going to detail all the paperwork and the service issue we've got and the bits and pieces on this and what's been done to it. As you can see, it's clearly been restored. It's a very, very pretty thing, this van. Even if you're not a commercial fan, even the classic car, no, the classic car people that tend to just stick to cars are all commenting on how nice this is as a commercial. It's got plenty of, uh, plenty of looks today, this one. Bodywork-wise, we're going to start off at the bonnet. We're going to work our way around this little Bedford van onto the interior, and then we're going to do an engine start-up. Obviously, it's a sliding door van, so those doors come all the way back. I will show you that quickly because it looks so cool with the doors open. You can drive along like that. Look at that there. Uh, proper bit of kit, this one. It really is. I do like an old commercial, but this is ticking all the boxes for us up here. It's got such a good character to it. Right, enough of my waffling. Bodywork wise, we're going to start off straight on the bonnet here. All lovely and straight across that big wide front end there. No problems at all. The bonnet itself is nice and straight. There's a few tiny, tiny little bits in the paintwork here and there. But like I say, for a commercial, it's one of the best ones I've seen for the style of the paintwork. Around the scuttle, we've got no corrosion. Your lovely Bedford sign there. All nice and straight. No dings or dents in that. Paint, paint works lovely and clear around the lower half of the section. You've got a tiny little bit of crazing just on the left hand side. No corrosion whatsoever. As we go up onto the roof, onto our tiptoes there, have a good look at that roof. It's lovely and tidy across the whole roof. Sometimes along all these vans, people get sort of halfway onto the roof and just leave it. Not the case with this one. Nice and shiny. A few little bits and pieces in the paint on the top half, but nothing we need to complain about at all. You can see how clear the scuttle is. The glass is lovely and clear as well. Attention to details, absolutely spot on on this one. As we come down the front of that wing onto the headlamps, they are crystal clear. There's no pitting at all in the chrome work. Down onto the sidelight again, brand new, lovely and fresh. No corrosion around these body lines underneath the headlamps. Even the rubber seal sits nice and snug all the way down there onto the wing. The bumper, unmarked matching the same colour cream as the top half. The grill's lovely and fresh. There's a few little dings and dents in the grill. All nice and original though. Lovely and tidy on the right hand side. Again, no markings or pitting at all in the chrome work. You can see how clear the lights are. All nice and symmetrical. Lovely and fresh across that front end there. The bonnet badge itself and handle. Nice and straight. Very, very light pitting. But not bad at all that. As we come round onto the right hand side, you've got the white wall tyres with the freshly painted steels and chrome hubcaps all the way around. Just finish this van off perfectly. Like I say, the attention to detail is absolutely spot on. On the right hand side wing top, there's a few little bits of the paint here and there if you're being really, really fussy. But apart from that, it's lovely and fresh. It's lovely and presentable. I'm going to go around the arch and have a good look at here. Like I say, the attention to detail is absolutely spot on on this. You put your hand in there and you greet. You greet it with a lovely sharp metal lip. There's no bodge in there. And the same on the back. You put your hand in. It's lovely and sharp. Have a good look at those white walls with those chrome hubcaps. And we'll go across the driver's door now and up the driver's door. It's lovely and straight. Especially for big panels, it is lovely and straight. This. Have a good look from the back side as well. Bottom half, I've got no marks, no chips, no dings, no dents. As you come up onto the two-tone, the lip itself is lovely and crisp on the colour change there. Hand itself, no pitting at all in that. Around the window, lovely and tidy. Again, all the aluminium and the chrome trims all spot on. Wing mirror, unmarked. Even across the roof rail here, the sliding door, if you have a good look in there, you can see how nice and tidy it is in the actual rail itself. Windows, obviously slide back and forward like that. No scratching on those. Even the sort of lip on the back of the door is lovely and crisp. Across that lower section on the rear quarter, we're going to go straight onto the arch again. You put your hand in the arch there. I'm going to go around so you can have a good look at that. Bit of dodgy camera work so you can have a good look at that arch line there. 
Stick the camera underneath and have a good look at the floors as well. Lovely and fresh underneath there. Across the rear quarters, lovely and straight. We've got two, a little bit of pain shrink there. Hardly noticeable, man. You've got to have your sort of hand and the camera touching the paintwork to notice that. But lovely and straight down the rest of the rear quarter. Top off once again, nice and fresh. Bit of peel in the paint, that's what you want. It is a commercial, but again, the line's lovely and crisp all the way along here. Lovely and crisp between the two colours. As we come round to the rear, again, lamp lenses on both corners, crystal clear. The rubber mounts are nice as well. All good across there. Lovely curved body lines down this back edge. Bumpers unmarked, lower valance. No marks at all across the back end there. As you come up the left hand side, even around the door hinges, lovely and tidy across the bottom of the doors. There's no rust coming through. There's no dings, there's no dents across those back doors. Window seals are new. Windows are nice and clear as well. The handle on the boot, no problems at all. That Everything opens as it should. You're not forcing it. You don't slam it closed. It all does what it's supposed to do. No issues at all with that. Perfect for the shows, this one. Ready to be enjoyed. Even a nice bit of classic sound writing would just finish that off perfectly. Across the top half again, lovely and straight. I've got no complaints there. Nice and fresh down the left-hand side. Look how straight that is for a big panel van. I've seen 70 plate cars with more dings and dents from the factory in them. Look how straight it is down the top half as well. Again, a bit of peeling the paint, the odd little bit here and there. But that's all I've got to complain about at all, really, on the left-hand side. Around the fuel cap, no nasty marks, no heavy scratching. The lower half section, I'm going to go underneath. I'm on my knees. See your spare wheel there. Have a good look at that. It's a horrible expression, but please find another one. It's the ultimate shop to show car, this. Down the rest of the left-hand rear quarter, lovely and straight. We'll do the lower section of the sill. As we work our way back around that arch, I'll go nice and slow. We'll do some dodgy camera work. We'll get right in that arch bit there. Right, I say the attention to detail seems to be absolutely spot on. Up the left hand side onto that lovely big sliding door again. Glass is nice and clear, it moves nice and free. Back and forward, the line's nice and crisp between the two colours, the handles unpitted, lovely and fresh down that arch, onto the lower half of that door. Again, nice new mirrors, lovely handles, lovely crisp body lines. We've got three little stone chips there on the arch, that's how pity you've got to be, a few little bits in the paint here and there. And again, everything just sliding nice and smooth. That just alters the whole look of this van, that. On to the interior now where you will not be disappointed again. The condition is throughout the same. The attention to detail is bang on. You've got brand new rubber mats. Lovely stainless trim. It's all fitted correctly. Rubber mats on the arches. It's all been painted correctly in here as well. Dash is lovely and straight. The dial's perfectly clear. We've got a aftermarket oil pressure switch fitted and a glow, a sort of preheat there to help it start, and when it starts, you know, that 1600 diesel engine, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, it's lovely. The seats have been re-trimmed, I've got no rips, no tears, they're lovely and soft. It's a great place to be sat. Again, across the headline in the front, as you'd expect, so it's had so much hours put into the restoration. Lovely and fresh in there, no complaints whatsoever. So we go down into the back, have a good look at this usable space in here. Right, I say the attention to detail is absolutely bang on. It's all been painted throughout in here. No scratching, no dings, no dents. This lovely big flooring, wooden floor, straight up the middle, making it usable. The backs of the doors are lovely and clean. With it being cream, you'd see any rust from a mile away. All the lines are good in here. Proper, proper usable thing, this. Everything closes nicely as well. You're not slamming it. You don't have to force it closed. You just close and turn and it's locked shut. On to the left-hand side. Now again, all nice and straight. You've got your battery hatch down there. The seat itself, unmarked. No rips, no tears. It is as new 
and in all fairness, probably a lot better than it was when it was new. Lovely and fresh in there. Into the engine bay now, the 1.6 Perkins diesel. Again, all nice and black in there. It's all been painted and touched up and squared away. James is going to fire it up here. Takes a few little turns to start. It is a diesel and away she goes. Oh. That was James's fault there. He didn't have the decompression. He's got a decompression lever. James didn't have a switch it off, so that's a rookie error on your behalf. Thanks for messing up my whole video. Firing into life once a decompression lever. Look at that. Even the bonnet when you close it, it just you know you know you've closed it, you're not slamming it shut, you twist the handle and it's locked down. And there you have it, the Bedford Mark II CA panel van with the sliding doors, two-tone, had a had a load of money spent on that restoration. It's the perfect nip down the shop on your way to the local show. Column change manual, just ticking all the boxes here. Gotta be worth 100,000 views that one, surely. James is not included in the sale, but for the right price, everything is for sale. Probably makes it worth a little bit less.